Georgia Farm Bureau's second district encompasses 14 counties in the northeast portion of our state. They recently decided to come together in a unified effort to hold their first annual District 2 GFB Young Farmer Steer and Heifer Show. The event far surpassed even their wildest expectations. Over 100 kids, grades 3 through 12, along with nearly 130 head of cattle, showed a crowd of hundreds at the Habersham County Fairgrounds in Clarksville just how good they really were at competing and showing cattle. The idea was the brainchild of District 2's young farmer chairman Clay Talton and District 2 field rep Dennis Black. But to my knowledge, this is the first time that a district has had a show that was just for the counties involved in their district. The day began with showmanship classes, broken down by grades. They started with third and fourth and then went through the twelfth. Now this is the class that we covered on this day. Kids and families alike waited in anticipation. Then after that we follow with steer, steer classes and we show the steers by their weight, by their conformation and how they look. And then we follow that with registered heifer divisions and commercial heifer divisions. They even brought in an outsider to judge the competition. He admitted there were a number of great participants. I'm one of those judges that I don't know anybody around this part of the world, so I can't be political. So I, to me, the, the best cattle going to win no matter who, who's sticking them. So. It's, a, it's a competition between the kids. It's a competition between county, 4-H, and FFA programs as well. So the kids, when they win their class, we've got ribbons for first, second, and third, and fourth, and fifth, and on down. They even had granite plaque tiles that they gave to the overall champions. How seriously do the kids take an event like this? It began back in June and it goes through uh, March. So every day they're at up at 5.30 before school, feeding these calves, working with them in the afternoon. So they take it very seriously. So it's, a, it's very much of an accomplishment just to walk into the show ring because a lot of work's been done prior to this show. Um, it means a lot to me. We get to come out here and show off all our hard work that we do at home. It's, it's a phenomenal experience. Like, the experience is mainly what I get out of it. Um, what, I, what I learn here, I can take and uh, acquire into my everyday life from here in the future. The responsibility and the teamwork especially. Remember earlier when I said it was a unified effort? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. And each county put up $500 to go towards the show and then the county presidents came together and grouped up and put $500 to sponsor the Grand Champion Steer and Reserve Champion Steer. And then we had the insurance agents came together and put $500 together to sponsor the Supreme and Grand and Reserve Supreme Heifers. Prizes were also supplied by agency managers, young farmer leaders, and women's leaders. It's been, like I say, a very collaborative effort, everybody working together. And today you just walk and you see everybody working and fellowshipping and having a great time. It's a great event and it teaches these kids a lot of lessons in life. Uh, but as far as the state, just keeping the voice of agriculture out there and telling people about what we're doing and uh, being stewards of the land, stewards of the, our country. Thanks, Danny. Looks like a great time.